best thing about Switzerland? I have no idea, but the flag's a big plus. I liked this angle a lot less than I thought I would, but we're gonna roll with it. So hi everyone, as I itch my legs because I have bites all over them. Today I'm gonna be doing a review, which is the first one I've done in a long time, sadly. The book is Dumplin by Julie Murphy. I never did a video about books I'm looking forward to in 2015 because there was like four of them, but this would have made it to that list of most anticipated of 2015 and I got an advanced copy of it and I am so happy that I got this early. Julie Murphy wrote the book Side Effects May Vary which came out 2013 I believe and that's about a girl named Alice who has cancer and I gave that book like four and a half stars. I really liked it. So when I heard about this I knew I had to have it because it's about a girl named Willow Dean. The gist of the story is that she's a fat girl living in Texas and her mom is the coordinator slash director of the Texas huge beauty pageant. Willow Dean decides she wants to enter this beauty pageant just for fun and so it deals with drama about that as well as some boys. Now let's just talk about what I thought about it. First things first, I'm not really I gave this book three stars. You may have seen on Goodreads my review I did about it, but I gotta say this let me down a tad. I'm not sure if it's because the book itself needs work or because my expectations were so astronomical that it just could not meet that, but I came out of this book feeling like it was just an average book, which I was not expecting whatsoever. So although there was nothing horrible about it. It just wasn't the greatest book that I wanted it to be, which is making it more frustrating than it should be. I'm pretty sure if the average human read this they would enjoy it, but I guess since I've had this on my mind for over a year. I just got too excited about it perhaps. But my main complaint about the book as a whole, and I think I'll mention this throughout the video, is I wish it was just more extravagant. So reading this book, I heard the synopsis, and the synopsis literally is like, Willow Dean is a fat girl and she is comfortable in her own skin, so she's gonna enter this beauty pageant. The beauty pageant thing doesn't occur until like the middle of the book. So for the entire first tap it's literally just Willow Dean at her job getting this boy that she likes from there. So that was kind of weird because I guess again I was expecting something and it was different but like if you're gonna tell me beauty pageant give me a beauty pageant. But because of that it was a little bit uninteresting for a while. I mean I was never bored where I was like ugh let me put this down. But I definitely felt like I was wondering when things were gonna happen, why things weren't already happening. But I have to give it credit for the reason I read it, which was, it's about a fat girl. Me being me, also fat, I've only ever read two books about fat protagonists and this is one of them. So I really like that that's becoming a more popular thing, or at least a thing that exists now. I think it's a really unique story. I think that Willow Dean is amazing as a protagonist because this isn't a fat girl book where it's like she's sad about her life and she's upset about her body. It's kind of like a I'm bigger and that's all right, which is the perfect mentality to have. And that's another reason why I was so excited for this is because I just wanted a girl that could slam dunk anyone that got on her bad side. I wish it was just more exaggerated because you are told very early on that she's this fat girl, but you never really get descriptions of that. I know this is probably not beneficial at all, but I'm gonna compare this book to the other book I've read with the fat protagonist, which is Sugar by Deirdre Riordan Hall. In this book, you get very elaborate imagery about this fat girl and what she looks like and how she does things and her heart rate increasing and her sweating. And you can really tell you're reading from a girl who's out of shape and bigger. In this book, she felt like a normal person and I know that might be trying to fit into the trope of it's fat but that's okay, but sometimes I felt like I was almost reading a normal main character, like you forget that she has this really unique character trait about her, which is that she is heavier. And at some times I was even a little bit skeptical because I know as a bigger person there are some things that girls my size can't do, such as but not limited to sitting on the ground with your knees pulled against your chest. Uh-uh, these knees haven't touched my chest since I was like two, so. 
I wish Willow D had better imagery. She was kind of hard to place in some scenes because you're not really sure how big she is. It's very rarely mentioned her shape and her size and how the complications of that and I kind of wish it was a little more. Julie Murphy is just great because I love her writing. It's witty, there's great comparisons, it's very fun and light. However, like I said at the very beginning of this video, I just wish we were given more. Certain scenes could have been fleshed out better. I don't know if this book needs to be bigger, but I definitely think that we just needed more description. Some events were rushed past and others were just dwelled on, so it was a very weird juxtaposition. Like always, any book about a fat protagonist is just right down my alley relatable. I really liked it because of that, because I read it and go, hey, I feel that emotion too. And it's especially weird because since you never read about fat girls, you never get an image of someone liking a boy, but the fear and the anxiety and the shame of knowing they're probably not gonna like you back and just stuff like that. And I know that's like a common trope in YA anyway, but it's very hard to find in characters like this. So it's that. It's like, I get it. I get it. I don't know if people at a normal weight who read this will be able to kind of click with that emotion, but it's almost sad to read sometimes, but it's, me. Like I said, the action doesn't start until like the middle half of this book and the beginning is just her and her relationship with her co-worker. I gotta say, I was not a fan of that. There was a lot of insta-love between them and I feel like they had such an extensive backstory that we just kind of leapt into the book at a place where they already had like a good relationship going and then things happened really early on so the reader was kind of like whoa slow down would i have liked to see things go a little slower yes but i've liked less angst yes in the end the relationship isn't even like the main deal about this book so i'm not sure why it was even there in the first place and also i mentioned this in my sugar review but i'm gonna say it again and this is like the saddest thing in the world but <sighs> i f i'm not a fan of I can't find the right words to say this, but it's very hard to envision this relationship because it's this guy who's so attractive and so great and everyone loves him and he's nice and he's compassionate and he stands up for Willow Dean and he's attracted to her. This is totally a reader error, but I read that and I think about this perfect amazing guy being with this heavier girl. There's a part of me that's like, uh-uh. Which is bad and like I don't know why I feel that way with every book I read about fat protagonists but I guess I have to be a Debbie Downer and be the one that's like well if I don't have a boyfriend how come this character gets a boyfriend? So now to the biggest flaw of this book which I've been mentioning throughout the video but this book just needed to pack a punch. I was so upset at the end when it was like this huge pageant that they've been training for and it was like 10 pages long a description of the pageant. This pageant was hyped to be like the best thing in Texas and they work for it every year but then whenever it's actually happening it's like glossed over. So I really wish there was more description of her getting her dresses, her getting ready, even at the actual pageant like being backstage, getting ready, what the girls are saying, what the girls are doing, how she gets ready, what she looks like. I don't even know what she looks like for her pageant or who did her hair and makeup. It's so rushed in the end and it was really a letdown. By the end of this book I was really upset because the entire premise of the book was this fat girl enters a beauty pageant and that entire ordeal took place in the last 50 pages and just was not as fun as I thought it was gonna be. It was rather mediocre. And I know I just spent the entire video saying how much I didn't enjoy this book as much as I thought I would, but it is a good book and it does have a good message and it is fun to read and there are scenes that made me giggle and there are scenes that made me go, oh. I would definitely recommend this book to you because it's so different and such a hard topic to find a book about and it is done pretty well. I think it's just more of reader issues I had with it rather than actual problems of the book. Give it a try. I know people who have loved this book and maybe I'll even link a couple of those reviews down below so you can see someone who had a better idea of it in the end. But this book was pretty forgettable. The characters weren't 
amazing and li livid, lively. It was relatable, but I didn't really see myself in it too much. I mean, it was good, but I don't think I'm gonna buy a finished copy. And that is everything that I have to say about this book. If you've been looking forward to this book, let me know in the comments down below. Until next time, thank you all so much for watching and thank you Kristen for giving me one of her copies or maybe her only copy of Jumplin'. Thank you Harper for making books with diverse protagonists. I'll see you all next time, goodbye.